There's an old saying that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Now this means that eventually a person who is only working will become bored and risk become boring to others. And many studies show that our brains and bodies function better when we take time to refresh them. In other words, take time out for leisure activities. For people living in coal camps and working in the underground mines, stress was a big factor in their lives, and so they took time for recreational and leisure activities. Now, in the early 1900s, development of movie houses and theaters uh, was a popular form of recreation, and also uh, billiard parlors and bowling alleys. And people also liked to come to the local fountain where they could visit, and also it would double as a dance floor. However, the main form of recreation and leisure was baseball. Between 1920 and 1950, there was a baseball team for each camp. Games were played on Sunday afternoons, and they were the most popular social event. Teams competed against each other, and the games were a source of camp pride. And coal company officials were known to hire workers because they were high-quality baseball players who could help out the team. In the 1940s, Hellyer, Kentucky was the largest town in Pike County, even bigger than the county seat of Pikeville. Trains ran twice daily between the two towns, and frequently baseball teams were in competition and used the trains for travel. Hellyer even had three baseball teams. And another piece of coal camp baseball trivia, Whalen in Floyd County had the first baseball field in Kentucky to have lights. Children, keeping in mind that years ago there were no phones, televisions, radios, or even video games. What do you suppose people living in coal camps did for recreation? Did they play any kinds of sports? Yes, they did. Baseball was very popular. What other activities do you think they were engaged in? Music? Dancing! I like to just hang around with my friends and talk sometimes. Did they do that? I like all those responses. Men used to gather around and play the banjo and fiddle, and the church dinners were regular social events. Sometimes card parties were held in homes where the people sat around and played cards and just talked to each other. My grandpa said he remembers his mother getting together with other women just from me. Very true. And one form of leisure activity was the work bee, whereas you say they strung beans. Also, there were apple pickings and men, as well as women, who liked to go fishing and hunting. In some ways, things haven't changed from those coal camp days. In 2001, astronaut Carl Walls was asked what he would like to take along with him for a six and a half month stay on the International Space Station. And he answered, well, a keyboard would be nice. Here is a photograph of Carl playing the keyboard for his fellow astronauts on the International Space Station. Remember how baseball was a major form of leisure activity in coal camps? Since Mars gravity is only a little over a third of gravity on Earth, baseball games will definitely have to be played inside a dome, or the balls will float too far for players to retrieve. Class, we discussed some areas of responsibility required to be a productive team member. Which of these apply to the area of leisure and recreational activities? Cooperation. Respect for others. Good communication skills. Honesty. How about we just say all of them? You are all correct. And you too, Alex. Just about everything that makes you a better worker makes you a better team member, whether you are doing it professionally or just for fun. Back in the days of coal camps, it was important that people use their imagination to make leisure activities for themselves, and creative thinking will also be required in a Mars colony. Now, because it is so important to refresh our minds and bodies, you could say that preparing for and having fun is serious business.